Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video of King Arthur Legends Rise. And we have a very special video in store for you today and I'm very excited to get to it. But if you guys never heard of King Arthur Legends Rise, it's a brand new turn-based RPG game that just came out with amazing graphics. And I've been playing it every single day ever since it came out about two weeks ago. And it's really, really fun. I've been enjoying myself. I'm 100% free to play and I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. So if you do want to check out the game, make sure to head over to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment section. Click that link, head over to the official page that way and download the game and you'll be supporting me. So today we finally have enough resources to summon two legendary heroes and I'm so excited to get to it. So when we go to like Avalon, there are so many different summons you can do. There are two banner summons, which is called the Raid Up Summons, where you can go for Guinevere or the Merlin, which is really, these are two fantastic heroes and I would love to go for them. But when it comes to these Raid Up Summons, you would ideally want at least 12,000 of these crystals so you can guarantee summon 60 because if you, let's say you summon like 50 heroes and you don't have enough resources for the last 10, right? Well, you're not going to be guaranteed to get it anymore unless you already hit that, you know, that mercy, I guess you could say. But when you do hit a legendary, right, you have a, I believe it's a 50% shot of getting it. I think that is the rate, right? Yeah, once you hit legendary, you have a 50% 50, 50 shot of getting that rate up champion or hero. And right now I have 11 and I have 7,400 crystals, which is not enough for the full 60, right? I have, a job, I have just enough for maybe like 50 or 48 or something like that. So I wouldn't really want to go for this, even though I really, really want the Guinevere. But when it comes to the special summons, this is something else you also want to summon 10 at a time because you're going to be guaranteeing 10 rares when you do a, a 10 pop, right? And we have 60, exactly 60. So we're guaranteed a legendary no matter what. And I also have another legendary that I'm guaranteed that I was saving for you guys. Uh, so I can show you guys. So right here we have a legendary hero summon ticket where I can summon a legendary hero. I guess at this point, what legendary heroes would I want? I think what I really, really want is a uh, a Bedivere, right? Because he's the best uh, DPS in the game at the moment, um, as far as I know. And I guess like, I don't know, maybe like a, there's a lot of good legendary heroes. So um, even like the uh, Lancelot, I think his name is Lot, right? Lord Lance, something like that. He's really, really good too. He's a strong uh, damage dealer too. There's a lot of great heroes I could get, but at this point right now where I'm uh, where I'm at the game, I have two legendary heroes that I got for free. Um, you basically start out with uh, Tristan. You also, you basically start out with a, you don't start out with the Morgan per se, but you start out with summons that you can do to get Morgan, which is basically part of it, right? It's free. So yeah, those are my two legendary heroes. And these are also fantastic heroes. More, Tristan has been fantastic for me in um, the restricted area for, uh, I forgot the name already, actually. It was the, yeah, Plane of the Beast. Plane of the Beast, he's really, really good because he's got multi-hitters. So he's a fantastic hero to start out with. Um, but I want more, right? I want, I want a new toy to play with, basically. But I've been saving up a lot of resources. I have enough to take one of my legendary heroes. Almost. I have an, almost enough uh, resources to take my legendary hero to uh, rank 6, right? Advanced placement. So right now, they're both at rank 5, level 50. And I could take them uh, to rank 6 if I want to. 6 stars with two more of these orbs that I can farm pretty easily now. So I don't want to do it just yet, just in case I pull someone else that I want to invest into, like a bed of here or something, right? That would be, I think that would be my top of my wish list. So here we go, guys. Um, I, I Do I have enough to do relic summons too? No, I don't have 10 yet. Yeah, I don't want to open these until I have 10, because when you have 10, you guaranteed a rare, just like the special summon. So here we go. Please, please, I beg of you. If I can get some early legendaries, that would be fantastic. I don't want to go to Mercy, right? The 60 guaranteed, I don't want to get there. Let me get like an early one out of the way. Yeah? Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on, let's make it happen. Please. Something amazing. Oh, alright, I gotta click it. Come on. Gold? 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 Oh, okay, well, we're guaranteed to the rare, so... How many rares do we get, though? One rare. Ah... Not ideal, guys. If I get a rare, then it has to be, like, a lot of rares, right? That would be nice. What rare is it though? Oh, we got another Clementine. She's a fantastic healer, guys. If you could throw it in like a vigor set, then she can get two, basically two manas every time she gets to her turn, no matter what, even if you're fully depleted. And then you can set up so you can have her skill using the eight, the, the skill two, which is heal your entire team. So every time she gets to a turn, she'll have enough gauge, which is like basically two mana in order to use her team heal, right? Which is her skill two. So that's really, really good. But yeah, I mean, I, I know the first Clementine uh, Chivalry is going to be like an additional, um, I guess, gauge decrease for the opponents, which is really nice too. But let's keep it going. Come on. Come on. 
Legendary. Legendary, please. Gold. 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 Ah, we got some rare again. But more, a lot of rares, please. A lot of rares. No, one rare again. Oh, man. Okay, we're not off to the best start. I guess we got to pay some uncommon and rare tax. Oh, we got another turn. Yeah, he's, she's she's solid too. Now, what's unfortunate about her is um she she does she she does bring a lot of like nice abilities into the squad, right? Like the uh like increased accuracy uh and whatnot, but as far as and increased attack speed, I think. But as far as like her heal capabilities, I mean, she has a a one, she has a skill one heal. She has a skill three heal, which is different from the Clementine. So even if you have a vigor set on Turin, you won't be able to get that, you know, because you need three gauge mana basically to be able to use her her team heal, which is the same as like the Clementine heal on the skill two. So not as ideal for certain compositions, but she's still really good, right? For different compositions, she's gonna be great, and she also also free when you start playing the game. So continuing, all right, we're not off to the best start, but that's all right. Two rares in a row, I guess. Come on, man. Oh, oh, we got a legendary. Oh, we got a le early legendary, guys. Come on, come on. Bedivere, please, please. Okay, we got a rare, we got a, a legendary. Oh my gosh, here we go. Our first ever legendary pull, guys. Here we go. All right, let's get right to it. Steadfast heart, steadfast sword. Oh, wait, is that is that Lancelot? It is. We got lot, guys. Yes. Okay, she, he's really, really good too. Lancelot. Okay, his name is Lancelot. He's really, really good too. Really, really strong hero. Uh, I'll definitely take it. I'm happy with that. He's going to be really, really good in certain uh, dungeons for me, as well as other areas in the game. But, hey, early legendary, that's a huge win. Huge win, right? I will definitely take that. And who is our rare ch Okay, okay. Another chivalry added to uh, our main DPS at the moment. But if we get a Bedivere, he would definitely replace the, um, the K. But K is a fantastic... Uh, damage, damage champion. She has a lot of evasion as well, and she has a lot of multi hits. She's very strong, and she's one of the rares that you start out with that's going to take you a long way. She was actually my first ever six star hero, so really, really great as well for the chivalry. Um, man, that's awesome. We got an early legendary. All right, guys, we have 30 here left, and I mean, we're not guaranteed a legendary now, but we got an early one as like that was my wish, right? Can we get a back to back? That is a question. Come on, come on. Back to back legendary? No, it's not a legendary here. So I guess it shows you if it's a legendary or not. Oh my god, we got a legendary! A back to back legendary! Oh my gosh! A back to back legendary! Another K! Okay, let's go! Another K, guys, to add to the chivalry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, I just don't. As bad as. I mean, dupes are not a bad thing, right? Getting duplicate copies of legendaries are not bad because. It'll, you know, add to your chivalry, right? But considering I'm 100% free to play, I would like more of like a variety of different stuff. You know what I mean? Because it's going to be really hard to get like a lot of like chances at getting legendaries. But oh my gosh, guys, here we go. Gareth, I don't have Gareth. That is new to me. Um, Did we get another one? No way. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm not going to complain, okay? I'm not going to complain. It's a dupe copy. A back-to-back -back Lancelot legendary. Holy crap, guys. That's, I mean, two legendaries in a row. I, I can't complain. I can't. But, wow. I mean, chivalry, right? We'll take it. We'll take it. It's fine. All good. Ooh. Rosier. She She's one of the, um, the, the opponents that I fought during campaign in the adventure mode, I think. Yeah, I don't know what she is either. I, I'll have to take a look at their kiss later. Oh, I sold. Is she a, is she a healer? I think she is, right? I don't remember. Okay, let me let me take a look at. Okay. Freeze. So like a CC, yeah. So it's a CC hero basically, crowd control. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? Um, let's go to the next one here. Okay, we have K already. We have that. Okay, what is what? Do, what do you do? So you are an attack based hero, and. Okay, so we got bleed, which is take uh, minus three percent damage each turn. Huh. Okay. Must sacrifice fifty percent of the max HP to use. Tackle enemy two times. Interesting. All right. Let me see. Is this a healer? Because I remember there was a healer that looked exactly like this. Wait. She is. She is a support hero. Is she a healer? She is a healer. Oh. Grace all recovery over time. It's also on the skill two, which is cool. And she also has capability to freeze. Whoa. She's pretty good. 
Yeah, for a rare, she's pretty good. I like that. All right, continuing, guys. We got 20 left here. I mean, might as well go for it, I guess. See what happens. Can we get a back-to-back-to-back -back -back legendary? Can that happen? Come on. Can we make it happen again? Another legendary. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's fine. I, I can't be too greedy now, right? So two legendaries in a row. And what is our... I'm just going to skip all this. What rare did we get? Oh, another new hero that I've never seen. Or not owned, I mean. So he is also a defense-based hero. Okay. Triggers. Uh, oh. Okay. Interesting. All right. Last one, guys. Here we go. Man, this is crazy. Two legendary back to back. Can we get? Can we get one more? Can end it with a bang here. Come on. Come on. Legend. Legend. Oh man, that would have been so sick. But three legendary guaranteed, guys. And we got two rares out of this one. That's good. Let me just skip this. More chivalry would be nice. Oh, okay, we did get more chivalry for Turin and also the new one that we saw, Rosier. Okay, cool. I will take it. I will definitely take it. Um, now, let's go over to our uh, the one we were saving up, right? Our ticket. Here we go. Now, a Bedivere would be so sick here. Really, really sick here. Or even like a... I think there's like a legendary hero out there too, right? That'd be kind of cool. All right, here we go. Please. Anything... I, I don't want another Lancelot. <laughs> Come on, man. Something new. Something new and amazing. Here we go. Merlin, you say? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Whoa. Oh! Is this Merlin? We got Merlin! We got Merlin, guys! He's one of the banner heroes! Oh my gosh! Yo! That's so sick! That's so sick. Oh my gosh. This is so insane. Wow. Hold on. Hold the phone. Where? Hold on. Hold on. Where are we? Where are we? Merlin, where, where, where are we at? There he is. Oh my gosh. We got one of the banner hero guys. I heard so much about him too. Like I heard he's really, really good. Dang. That's so cool. Okay. Let me see. What what are his abilities? Freeze. AoE's really good. Multi-hitter on the, on the skill one. Three hits. Really good. Another multi-hitter on the A2, which is a four times hitter, and another freeze capability? What does that do? Grants damage taken, decrease one. Grants dot immunity to the attacker. Okay, that's pretty cool. 90% chance to recharge. Oh, pretty solid, pretty solid. All right, what about the skill three? Attack all enemies two times. Freeze, CC. Very nice, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, man, this has been an insane summon session, guys. Now, I would have loved to get Guinevere, right? I know I'm being greedy, I know. But beggars can't be choosers, you know what I mean? So, wow, this has been insane, guys. It has been insane. Now, I have <laughs> nine hours left, basically, before uh, this this uh, banner runs out. And I don't think I'll be able to farm up, like, another nine uh, summons for raid up. Or even, like, you know, 2,600 uh, more crystals here to be guaranteed to go for this. So unfortunately, I won't be able to go for the Guinevere here, but maybe I'll be able to get him later, right? Maybe I'll be able to get Guinevere later. So yeah, that has been my summon session, guys. Now I I have options. Like, what do I even want to work on first? Who do I even, who do I want to take the six stars first as far as my legendaries goes? They're all really good. Merlin's really good. Lancelot's really good. Like, I mean, even like the new, the, the free heroes that you start out with, uh, Morgan and Tristan, they're both really good also, but wow. I got options. So there you have it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the summon session. If you're going to be summoning on your own as well, then I hope you get exactly what you're looking for or multiple copies of legendaries. That would be great, right? So if you guys enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to drop a like on this video. It will help out a lot. And also, once again, if you want to check out the game, really, really awesome game once again. Really amazing graphics. A lot of fun I've been having with this one. And head over to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment section. Click that. It'll take you to the official page. Download the game that way and you'll be supporting me so thank you for everything hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next video